Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Atif Hanif. Uh, first of all, thanks, Pite, for inviting me. Uh, I'm a banker by profession. Uh, I did my business uh, degree from California a long time back. Um, I came back in early 90s and spent a few years in capital markets. After that, I joined banking. For the last 22, 23 years, I've been in banking. I started my career as MTO badge one of Bank al Fala. Uh, and then later on went uh, to join Habib Bank and for the last uh, 15 years I'm, uh, an, uh, doing, uh, I'm an Islamic banker. Uh, presently I am a Senior Executive Vice President and Group Head of Islamic Banking in Bank of Khyber. Uh, I would like to give my input on, from the financial uh, sector uh, uh, that how it is evolving and how it can help youth. Uh, apart from that, certain very uh, uh, clear opportunities that are available for especially people of KP, uh, which are being ignored. Uh, I would like to shed some light on that as well. Thank you. Well, Asif, what is the banker's perspective on excellence? Uh, banker's uh, perspective on excellence is not different from, <coughs> uh, in general, uh, by other sectors. Uh, but I'll particularly mention that uh, uh, as a sector, uh, not as an individual, but as a sector, we have a lot of challenges uh, to, receive, uh, to achieve excellence in our industry. Uh, for example, we are one of the few countries in the world where 80% of the adults do not have bank accounts still. So the challenges that the industry uh, at large is uh, facing are multidimensional. Uh, one, of course, is the circumstances which is making, <coughs> which is making the sector change, and we are the, probably the last generation of bankers uh, that the public will see in its existing uh, banking industry form. Uh, technology is going to change the entire sector very, very, very rapidly. Very soon, uh, we are going to uh, um, get to a point where more accounts are being opened uh, digitally than physically through our branches which means uh, is that the employment opportunities, uh, that's the reason I sort of deferred my answer directly to the excellence, is because the em employment opportunities in banking industry are going to change very rapidly. Uh, normally when people would um, complete their MBAs and look forward to joining a bank, that situation is going to change very, very rapidly due to, one, due to techno technological developments, secondly, due to digital currencies. Uh, the central bank's digital currency phenomena, which has started in some countries like China and uh, about to start in Russia as well, uh, it is going to uh, completely change the spectrum of the deposits uh, that banks carry in their uh, books and in their branches and in their accounts. Uh, people will have direct access to the central bank's digital currency held in a central account in a central bank, which is the State Bank of Pakistan. So banks will not have deposits of customers anymore. It may take five to ten years to reach Pakistan, but it's not far away. Uh, that is going to um, completely change the, not only the deposit side, but also the lending side, because the fintech will then take the other side of the banking, uh, which is the lending side. Uh, so the deposits will go to the central bank and then central bank will provide financing lines to those fintechs will be, which will be very efficient and very modern and enable us to uh, provide financing facilities to their consumer and uh, business customers. So um, yes, in our personal lifetime careers, the, um, uh, the excellence was to start as an MTO, ba MTO um, um, batch, uh, we get selected in one of the banks and then retire as a president maybe. Um, so, uh, yes, that is excellent in terms of uh, excellence in terms of career path, but there's more to it because there's so much challenge uh, uh, with not only in the industry, but the sector as a whole as well. Uh, if the businesses cannot exist and cannot survive and cannot uh, uh, continue with the challenges of the present day and the future days, then banks also are threatened uh, in terms of their opportunities to lend and uh, the wealth, uh, if the wealth of our um, population at large is being challenged by other countries and exports or 
uh, other manufacturing sector is going to shift to other countries, then obviously Pakistan banking sector and the Pakistan economy overall is going to lose. Um, so uh, there are m multiple challenges that we see um, as banks, but especially pertaining to KP, I would like to mention a few things, uh, that there are certain sectors which have a lot of upside uh, of development. Uh, tourism is one, and if I can, Dr. Idris, uh, request that picture. Um, tourism is one, and number two uh, is the branding of our resources. Uh, whatever products we have, whether it is the food, whether it is our uh, handicrafts, they need to be developed into a more modern products and celebrated products and then uh, be able to, uh, like franchises, uh, be uh, available uh, in shops and, you know, places like, uh, like, why is it that Chitrali Patti is still being used to make uh, the same topi which was used 100 years ago? Why Khadi type brands are not uh, using for their uh, woolen clothing? And why is it that the same wool is being used? Why don't we have better sheep from Australia to give better, better uh, products uh, in terms of wool? So our sectors need to be enhanced. So uh, as I've, I'm mentioning these things, because uh, I'm sitting in a business university, so the business entrepreneurs need to uh, come up and see how they can uh, upgrade their resources and sell their products, services, uh, natural resources better. I'm sharing a picture here this is a business conference held a few days ago. And can anybody guess which country is this conference? Uh, can just anybody say a, the name of a country probably where this ambience could be? This, by the way, is a very usual way of holding very high-end business conferences, corporate conferences in Europe, where they hire buildings which are 300 or 400 years old and then refurbish it and use it for a business conference for a day. And such conferences are more costlier than five-star conferences, five-star hotel conferences in Europe. We did this in a heart of the Peshawar city, in an old house which is 200 years old. And this was done only a week ago. And for a conference like this in Europe, this should cost as easily cost a hundred thousand to hundred fifty thousand dollars. We paid ten thousand rupees. Uh, so, in social media, these pictures are being circulated throughout Pakistan in all the head offices of the banks and the corporates and the companies. That there is a place available in Pakistan where you can hold such ambience and such heritage-related conference environment. Now, somebody from this youth need to market this. Uh, at international level and at best level, uh, because we deserve much better than that. Uh, so my uh, point was that why is chapli kebab only being sold at Jalil? Why is it not being sold throughout the world like KFC or Pizza Hut? So there is a lot of food for thought for the youth that why is it that we are being, we have get used to of selling ourselves cheap. Uh, every tourist that comes to Pakistan spends $20 a day. The world average is $160 a day. So a simple chai and paratha uh, is not worth it because if you go to any northern area site and ask for a chai and paratha and then go and see how they are cooking it, they are burning they are. So for $20 a day, our environmental depreciation even does not allow this tourism. So the tourism is not worth it for Pakistan unless the tourist is spending 60 to 70 dollars a day minimum. Otherwise, it is destroying our economy and our environment. How do you spot opportunities? I'll say uh, if the op opportunities are very obvious and they can be seen by everyone, then they are not opportunities anymore. Uh, opportunities lie when they are about to be discovered and uh, not the mainstream population has joined the wagon. Once it has been a mainstream wagon phenomena, 
then they are not really an opportunity. You are not among those who are going to um, get the maximum benefit out of it. Um, I can recall a Sufi saying, uh, which I once read, is uh, uh, fishes, uh, I'm sorry if I can remember it was 30 years ago, fishes asking what water was went to a wise fish and the wise fish answered that it is something that is all around you but you still feel thirsty. So, uh, opportunities like I say if uh, uh, banking industry or hotel industry as it is exist, if somebody is looking at that as an opportunity, it is an opportunity but it is, it is in a very, very competitive environment um, and you can still excel. Uh, people like me, Alhamdulillah, have done very well in banking so I can't complain. But the way this world is evolving is one thing is very clear that whatever is available today uh, will not be available in today's form tomorrow. So everything is so rapidly changing that opportunities are going to continue to change and one has to keep looking, exploring and use their own creativity uh, on how to benefit and uh, you know get uh, achieve maximum out of it. Like few examples, I'm sorry Dr. Sobha, I gave some examples before your, this question actually. Um, like uh, this particular um, uh, 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 conference facility, this is being given out at 10,000 rupees a day. Now this can be easily given out at a million rupees a day, but not by the person who owns this, that building because he doesn't have the marketing and the vision to do that. Somebody from you can actually establish a marketing company, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, an event organizing company for corporate sector and pick them up from Karachi, manage the entire thing end to end and then take them back and just give them the experience of, their high, of the highest order and you can make m millions of rupees a year out of this. But so the opportunities have to be discovered um, and uh, since I, uh, my entire uh, passion about um, uh, writing uh, my, all my published articles are about only those subjects which were unseen. I started writing about subjects which have nothing to do with banking actually. Um, I started writing on the importance of learning Chinese language for Pakistani youth in 2004 and 5. Uh, and uh, uh, now it is the CPEC phenomena. So I still say that it's not too late because when we interact with the Chinese companies and we see the opportunities that those companies have for those youth who can speak or write, read or write Chinese is humongous. No matter what profession you are in, even if you are a driver and you don't have a job, but you can speak Chinese and Chinese is being taught free of cost even in cities like Peshawar, you will get a job with the president of a Chinese company. And if you are an accountant, you are an MBA, you are, um, if you, um, somebody is a chef, you know, the opportunities are humongous. Uh, so you have to find, you have to see beyond what is your obvious uh, visibility uh, to find opportunities. Uh, you know, I, I wrote an art article, Dr. Sub, uh, when I came to know that olive plantation, uh, which starts from Spain and Morocco, this world suitable olive plantation geography ends in, starts from Morocco and Spain, moves through Mediterranean and ends in Port of Har. So the, and wherever olive can be grown, there are signs of wild olives. And the last wild olive jungle on the planet is Bara Kahu. And Kahu is uh, olive in Port of Hari language. So anywhere between Duran line, uh, uh, one border to Port of Har, this entire area can be cultivated for olive just like Spain. So I passionately started writing about in 2010-11. Now people have started, uh, sorry, 2005-06. Now people have learned to know and, you know, government is totally on board and olive has been grown all over KP and Balochistan and Potoha. So opportunities are not really, uh, in my definition of opportunities, are not what you can, what everyone can see. So you have to find your opportunities. Thank you. Very good. Just five more minutes and we have five panelists. So one minute for each panelist. For you, sir, how do you translate an idea into action? If you allow, first I would like to answer to the lady and to the gentleman from Waziristan uh, that if any 
somebody who has entrepreneurship spirits and idea and they need funding this is the best time to be young and enterprising in Pakistan <clears throat> because there are so many schemes from federal government and provincial government which banks like Bank of Khyber are offering even in Waziristan without collateral and they are exactly for people, young people like you who have good ideas but don't have the, you know, the uh, properties to mortgage and all that. And there's a new scheme coming up next month which is up to 10 million rupees without security. So please, um, I will say that uh, stop looking at yourself as that if you have limitations. This is the best country to be uh, living in. Uh, this is, I have lived in US for six years and I'm telling you that, that there's no country like Pakistan, it is doing very well despite all the troubles, challenges and difficulties and I know from my customers that there were in 2002, I can give example, one example, there, in 2002 there was one customer who needed a loan of 7 million rupees and he did not have uh, his uh, property to secure so he offered one of his friends uh, for mortgage. That customer today is worth 50 billion rupees in Peshawar and all through legal and halal uh, businesses. So uh, Pakistan has so many opportunities and so many examples. Just keep your spirits high and uh, you have, uh, and if you need any financing, please uh, meet me after this session and I'll guide you how to. But I'll g come back to the question if you allow, um, the question, I'm sorry. No, so it was just how do you translate an idea into action but we're running short of time so just one minute okay you just have to uh, don't give up just one word don't give up um, before i just close just 10 seconds quickly sir uh, i just have to make one comment uh, that bank of khyber has sponsored uh, actually scholarship for fata students in iba karachi for master's degree and we are unable to find uh, FATA students uh, who can get admission in IBA Karachi. Oh. So this is just two scholarships there and we have uh, I think four scholarships for IM Sciences for FATA students. So anybody interested can approach Bank of Khyber. Thank you. Great news. Sir.